Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of my flea market finds. Just covered the uh, beer sign there. Now we'll do the uh, bottle. Took a chance on this for two dollars. Scott's emulsion, cod liver oil with lime and soda. Yeah. I don't think you can do anything with cod liver oil to make it uh, appealing, but uh, I guess they tried. What made it neat is there's a guy, barely make it out, but he's holding a fish. Um, neat little bottle. Might do well with that. You never know on some of these things. Uh, brass plaque, hit really heavy. Probably a couple pounds of brass there. Uh, that was 10 bucks. Nice uh, hunting dog scene. Uh, coffee grinder. I guess that's supposed to be Czechoslovakia. Um, pretty well marked. Made in 76. Um, so it's a newer one. But really well made. Uh, that was eight. Uh, some various uh, fishing lures here still in her box. Paid five dollars a piece. Might have overpaid for these. But at least they're still in the box. Nice, uh, nice lures there. A, uh, I guess it's a watch fob. Um, boxing. You know, I did well on that Sugar Ray stuff. Um, Ohio Valley Amateur Champion Jack Menardio. 135 pounds. Little guy. Uh, neat little piece. Uh, that was 10. Uh, plastic County duty ring, uh, five bucks. Uh, a bunch of uh, Camillus, uh, I guess it's line, linesman's knives, uh, five bucks a piece. Uh, this is seeing a lot of use. Uh, farmers would use this, go along and um, poke a hole in the ground, drop a seed in, and move on to the next. And it looks like this thing has planted a lot of seeds over its lifetime. Uh, that was two dollars. Nice uh, primitive piece. I like that. Uh, brass lion bookend. Um, no markings or anything. Nice solid brass. Probably, uh, I'm thinking that's probably a thirty dollar piece. It was five. Um, old uh, canteen. I don't think it's military. Got the cork stopper. Looks like somebody put their initials on there. CP. Um, interesting piece. Got a few moth holes in there. Um, that was 10 on that. Uh, probably overpaid for that, but uh, neat piece. Uh, another little uh, Bunnykins uh, glass. That was two bucks. Uh, moving on. Um, United States Bankruptcy Court for the District of Maryland. A uh, nice little paperweight for a buck. Uh, put that in my store, put like $30, $40 on it, and yeah, it might take a while to sell, but find the right person and uh, uh, they'll buy it. And, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space in the meantime. Slide rolls. I uh, love finding slide rolls. Lots of collectors out there for them. This is a neat piece. Got the leather holder. Leather holder. Uh, made in uh, Germany. I thought I saw it. Yeah. Made in Germany uh, for two dollars. Also for two dollars, pair of uh, Bell System uh, scissors uh, with their leather holder. A stack of CDs. These were three bucks, uh, three for a dollar. Um, just, uh, I haven't done anything with the CDs yet. One of these days. This is pretty cool. Check it out. Official Jack Webb whistle. Uh, Dragnet. Uh, got that for uh, three dollars. And that is about a twenty, twenty-five dollar whistle. Piece of uh, occupied Japan. Got that for 50 cents. Probably a $10 piece. Piece of coral for a uh, 
uh, fish tank. From what I remember, these pieces uh, went for pretty good money. Got it for a buck. Probably end up keeping this for myself, a uh, spigot with a uh, brass duck on it. That was $5. Uh, Don Ho um, at the Polynesian Palace, Waikiki, Hawaii. Got that for a buck. Uh, four uh, Playboy glasses. Uh, they were five bucks for the lot. Over here, got a uh, Fez for it looks like I guess that's a uh, Bumai. Uh, Bumai Fez uh, paid uh, two dollars for that. Love the old antique shoes, kid shoes. Uh, paid five dollars for that, and they got socks with them. That's uh, probably a uh, put that in my store at thirty bucks. Uh, my wife got this. It's a beat it uh, cupcake thing. I guess uh, go on the counter. Uh, she got that for uh, three dollars. This is a uh, potato peeler, uh, white mountain potato, made by Goodell Co Company. Um, pretty simple how it works. Uh, get the peeler there, the screw just uh, brings it by the uh, peeler. Uh, pay ten for that. Not sure what it'll bring, I haven't looked it up. These glasses were a really good deal. Uh, paid $10 for the 12 glasses, and they're bringing uh, around $5 a piece, so I'll put these in my store at uh, $60 for the set. Uh, mustache cup, uh, shaving cup, uh, with a lovely little brush in there. Paid 10 that's uh, probably a $30, $40 cup right there. Nice uh, old piece of uh, Germany porcelain. Uh, that should bring around $20, $25. Took a chance on this for a dollar. Piece of uh, granite ware, porcelain covered uh, steel. Uh, check this out. Guantanamo Bay coffee mug. Got this for a quarter. Um, never seen one before. Uh, that should bring some decent money. Let's see. Um, I just sold four of these in my store for forty dollars. I bought six of the small ones and five of these larger ones and I paid five dollars for them all so this these will probably bring ten dollars a piece sixty bucks there and even if I get ten dollars a piece for the larger ones that'll be fifty bucks another sale this is the iris and herringbone pattern you can see the iris flower the herringbone in the uh, back I picked up this uh, picture uh, for ten dollars and I picked up this vase it's 16 on it I got that for ten dollars um, so we'll see I'll put that's one lot two lot three lots four lots right there uh, bought a cassette recorder uh, still new in the box well lightly used in the box uh, for two dollars um, I imagine there's somebody out there that's still uh, needs a cassette recorder. It's still got a uh, cassette in there. might uh, make for some uh, interesting listening. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's a lost Watergate tape or something. Uh, some really neat... I guess I'm on a brass kick uh, for some reason. Well, it's bringing good money, that's why. Uh, little brackets going on the wall and these hang there. Um, pretty ornate. Uh, paid $15 for the pair of them. Uh, collie dog uh, planner. That was a dollar. Lots of people love collie dogs. A uh, 
vintage uh, porcelain uh, Santa and reindeer Noel uh, piece. Got that for two dollars. That's probably around Christmas time. That should bring around twenty-five. This was a really good deal. Old Reading beer from 1959. Um, found one example that sold on eBay. $117 it brought. Uh, pretty cool piece. So, uh, um, probably get the, at least that for it. So we're at the 10 minute and a, 10 and a half minute mark already. Uh, we'll start part three up on the mirror. Um, there's William's reflection. Say hi, William. Hi. You have a good time going to the yard sales? Yeah. Good. He's always trying to find something good. So uh, we'll start part three up in uh, just a second.